Now I think you know the discernment is is a way of of the discernment process in, or discernment leadership. The, the discerning leadership, I think, is mm, this type of discerning leadership from an Ignatian perspective. I think is trying to answer to how the know-how to get in touch with this inner source. No? Exactly. I think that you're. I think you're that, exactly that, right. That is that is what we we are trying and when we are talking about Ignatian leadership or leadership of discernment, discerning leadership, others call it. So, um, maybe I can talk about the experience and the foundational experience of the Ignatian spirituality where discernment is linked to. So, St. Ignatius, Ignatius of Loyola was the founder of the Jesuits hmm, 500 years ago. And uh, the foundational experience uh, of Ignatian discernment is in his conversion. His conversion, he was wounded in fighting in a war and he was really, really hurt to the point of being almost, you know, on the point of, of, of dying. Um, but little by little he was recovering and he was in bed. And he was born in bed, he could not move, and he had to entertain himself with something. And at that moment he was, you know, a dreamer, he was dreaming. And then stories would come to him, and the stories for him at that time eh, were the stories of cavalry. So these big heroes would fight and were inspiring him to fight and to get honor, to get social recognition. And at home he had a library of these books of cavalry and he was reading one after the other, one story after the other. And these stories were inspiring him, giving him a lot of energy. So if these heroes have been, have been doing this, I will do the same to gain honor. If they have been doing this, why? I'm not going to be able of doing the same thing. When I recover, I will do the same. I will be a great person, recognized by everyone. But of course, uh, the time of recovery was getting longer and longer and longer and longer. And he had to start repeating the readings because the books ran off. So he started repeating those books. And he got also bored of that books because he knew already the stories and he needed new stories. And the sister-in-law who was taking care of him, she was a Christian and she wanted that uh, her brother-in-law would have a better life because it seems that in his youth and uh, this guy now Saint Ignatius was not that saint. So and the sister in law in law sister in law um, started passing to him the stories of saints. Not the stories of heroes of cavalry but the stories of saints. And this guy he started to read the stories of saints and he was saying, hmm, very interesting and he got also enthusiastic, enthusiastic about them. Okay, if these saints have done these heroic, heroic uh, things, I will do the same. So it's exactly the same thing with, you know, heroes of cavalry and heroes of sanctity. So, and he was feeling attracted and inspired and moved by both types of books, stories, and imagine what could be his future life here or there or there or here. And moving from one type of books to the other type of books, he started to feel, to notice, to be aware inside, in depth, of a difference. And the difference was that Meanwhile, he was very happy and 
enthusiastic and motivated when reading the books of Cavalieri. He was feeling the same reading the books of saints, but with the books of saints that enthusiasm, that happiness, that joy was lasting longer. And he said, hmm, very curious, what does it mean? Why am I feeling much happier or my happiness and joy remains much more sustainable, it's more sustainable, remains more time with me than the others. And this, he said, okay, maybe this can be a very good guide to know what I want to do in my life. Because in principle, the most important thing for me is to be happy and to be joyful and to have meaning, lasting meaning in my life. So if I want to have lasting meaning in my life, maybe I have to continue reading more or following more the lives of saints than the lives of these big heroes of Cavalier. And in that experience, personal experience, inner experience of reflection, he found a methodology to orient people in their lives. Everyone wants to be happy and that, that happiness is prolonged in time. It is not broken. It lasts. So, and he said, okay, I want to pass to others the experience that I have had just to help them to orient also their lives, to see what makes them happy in their lives, this inner in introspection, you know, inner contact eh, in depth is what later on he called spirit, so, uh, uh, spiritual discernment. And so this movement from one thing to another, reflect, see, observe internally, you know, where, where happiness is leading me, where joy is joy, an increase of joy, an increase of hope, an increase of life, an increase of, you know, an increase of what is good, an increase of commitment eh, for the others, an increase of service, that is making me happy. Where that increase is, where the sustainability of that increase is, and that is what is going to guide my life. And this is what um, we in Ignatian spirituality uh, we call a spiritual discernment. Um, this spiritual discernment can be brought, we need to bring it to organizations, to share leadership in organizations. So how to bring this individual discernment to a communal discernment, how to bring that so where we listen to everyone, we create spaces where we can listen empathetically to everyone's experience of getting in touch with this inner source that let them know what is in their life, the increase of joy, the increase of hope, the increase of commitment, the increase of love, the increase of life. And this life, joy, hope, is not individual only. Any organization has to do a discernment, a collective communal discernment, just to see in this context, at this moment, with these people, with this service, with this mission, where the organization is going to find the next step in the increase of hope, joy, happiness, life, love. Organizations need to take time for that, need to set spaces where they can care for that. 
this is the new type of organization that we need.